Hi, my name is Nikolai Yusupov. In this video, I want to show you how to acquire a 3 lead and a 12 lead EKG if you're working with the CC Medic and the Medic requests you to do a 3 lead and a 12 lead. So, we're going to go with the placement, the proper anatomical locations with palpation, and I'm also going to run uh, the steps. The, the buttons you're going to press on the life pack 15 in order to acquire so the first step that you're going to do is you're going to get your uh right your cables and you're going to connect these electrodes right so we already pre-connected them these are your limb leads right that i'm holding right and these are your chest leads that are, get, uh, get placed on the chest and we're going to talk about uh you know the anatomical landmarks the another name for them is precordial leads right so they basically look at the picture around your heart so first thing i like to do is i come in i introduce myself hello sir my name is nikolai right i'm uh you're gonna say you're an emt right i'm here to do an echocardiogram which is going to take a look of your heart is that okay uh, patient will say yeah no problem or patient's alter mental status they're intubated right uh but still right you want to make sure you say it. i usually also like to check their armband make sure you you're doing this on the right patient the last thing you want to do is getting a 12 lead on the wrong patient so verify their date of birth their name right and their consent so patient is ready next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take alcohol prep and i usually like to do a good skin prep right I, the reason why is your skin has uh, dead skin cells and you may not get good conduction uh if you just place the leads right it will be all right but if you want the best right uh the best uh picture of the heart you want to do a good skin prep so i just abrade the skin so for the for the purposes of a three lead right uh, these can go on the torso on the limbs it doesn't really matter if you're doing a 12 lead uh, by convention right the textbooks will tell you these have to go on the limbs uh, why because if you place them on the torso you may over augment right but it's uh, you know it's not a big deal right uh, just ask what the medic wants right but I'm going to show you the way it's described traditionally in the textbook so we got consent so I'm going to just give me your arm I usually like to uh, cleanse the skin and this is where I'm placing bleeds I want to put it not in the hairy areas and where there's no bony bony areas no bony prominences so I clean here I clean here usually I'm going to put it on the calves right so I, I, I would clean this side here and what I'm doing is basically I'm just abrading the skin right and then can you lift up your shirt for me sir right so we're gonna clean here and around here if the patient had a lot of chest hair you may need to you may need to essentially trim it or cut it right uh, I would say you know before you do that talk to the medic and the nursing staff right so it cleans around the chest just keep holding your shirt for me right uh, like this uh, I'm gonna first put the limb leads on right uh, actually put your hands down for a bit and then you're gonna lift up your shirt so uh this is my mnemonic you could use whatever mnemonic you want usually that's how i teach it uh because i feel it's the easiest to remember so you take your limb leads right and you see for life pack 15 and maybe some other models they're color coded so i have four colors a uh, white black red and green so if i'm looking at the patient i'm gonna go clockwise clockwise right clockwise salt is white color right salt so salt is gonna go right arm but you don't have to remember right arm right you just remember salt salt is white right here right you see what i'm doing salt right next thing we're gonna do is pepper pepper is black in this case right salt pepper and then we're gonna do ketchup ketchup is red in this case calf right i'm putting basically on the ears way uh cleansed right and then relish relish is green right again calf so if i'm looking at the patient right uh, I'm going to say salt, pepper, ketchup, relish, and we're going clockwise motion, right? So this is your limb leads, right? From here, I could run my three lead, right? But I want to do a 12 lead, so I'll show you how I connect the precordial leads. So this, this cable is only needed when you're doing a 12 lead, right? It's going to be connected into this part here, right? But before I connect it here, I want to place them on the patient first. So now can you lift up your shirt? This is going to go into anatomical locations. It's not just based on how you perceive it to be, right? You have to palpate. Palpate means you touch. You touch. So I'll tell you the landmarks. And then you touch, you palpate, right? And you find the appropriate landmarks. So what I'm going to do is uh, lift your chin up. So I'm going to find this this spot, this spot here is called the manubrium, right? Let me lift it, you should hire right here this is the manubrium right this corresponds to second in the costal space and i feel it right second in the costal space it's the hole between the two uh verb uh the the two ribs second right then i feel the th the th third in the costal space right right here let me make sure you guys see that and then i go one over this is the fourth in the costal space take one of your finger and put it right here 
T take your finger pull right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this here is fourth intercostal space, and here is where the first one, V1, right? V1 is gonna go. So I basically just just to go just to show you what I did. I found the manubrium right here. This is the second intercostal space. This is the third, and this is the fourth. I feel the, basically the hole in between the two ribs. Fourth intercostal space to the left and to the right of the sternal bore is where V1 and V2 are gonna go. So I'm gonna take V1 and V2. And you could, you know, if your patient is conscious and alert, you could ask them to do the same thing, right? Put their finger in there. So this is V1, you can move your finger, right? And then V2 is gonna be on the same uh, space, photonocostal space, right? Uh, to the side of it, right? So now V1, V2 are in place. And what I wanna do is if I draw a straight line, then straight line, right? The next lead you're gonna employ is gonna be V4, V4. Right, and V4 is going to go into right mid clavicular line. So move this hand for a second. So the clavic, the clavicle is this bone here, right? The clavicle. We're going to go mid clavicular. So in in the middle of the clavicle, fifth intercostal space. So mid clavicular, fifth intercostal space. Right there. Right. That's V4. The next lead I'm placing is V3. V3 is going to go in between V2 and V uh, V4 right there right the next lead i'm applying is v6 and how would i know v6 is basically put your hand down it's going to be fifth in the costal space so on the same same uh line but it's right under the armpit so it's essentially going to be uh right mid auxiliary line mid auxiliary line so v6 right is the next to be placed Right, so move the shirt to the side. V6, right? So same, right? Fifth and costal space, and it's going to be mid auxiliary line. And then V5, if he places, if he holds his hand straight down, right, like this, V5 is same, fifth and costal space, but it's anterior auxiliary line. Anterior auxiliary line is right there. So move your hand to the side, right? So V5 goes here. Right? And uh, what I want to uh, point out to you, right? So uh, hold the shirt higher. I wanna, if I draw lines, I want straight lines. I want a straight line here. I want a straight line here. And I want a straight line here, right? So we have three straight lines. One, two, and then and then three. So this is your standard configuration for the 12 lead, right? So now once you apply the leads, right? You could uh, put the shirt down, right? Or a patient has a gown. Uh, you wanna you wanna check the patient's age. Usually, it's gonna be printed on the armband. Or ask him, so sir, how old are you? Right? His, uh, I know he's 28 years old, but I will check the armband, right? And the reason why you need the age is for the algorithm. So now, once all my leads are connected, you, I'm gonna tell sir, please don't move. I would like to do a cardiogram. Uh, it's important that you remain still, and you wanna keep them comfortable. Maybe put a pillow, right? Uh, make sure their legs are nice and comfortable. So now I'm gonna show you the controls, right, on the Life Pack 15. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on the monitor. I usually place it at the butt side of the patient, right by their feet, right? And now, right, you'll see his underlying rhythm. This is his, we call this is the three lead, and here you're gonna see the heart rate, right, once it catches up. I, I will give it uh, a few seconds so that you see a good clear tracing. And then what you wanna do is you wanna print, click print right here, right, at the bottom. And what, what I'm printing is I'm printing his uh, basic rhythm strip. This is like your three lead uh, rhythm strip, right? So once I got the rhythm strip here, right, I click print again, I'm done. I wanna do the 12 lead now. So I'm gonna, you see this button says right above print, it says 12. I'm gonna click 12. It's asking me for the patient's age, right? I already looked at the armband and, or you could ask the patient, I know he told me he's 28. Very important you put the correct age, right? For the algorithm, so 28. And then you select male or female, right? So again, for the algorithm, so I, male, right? Uh, I'm gonna again say, right? Uh, uh, and you see, right, very important, what, what you notice, right? Noisy, noisy data, right? Uh, would you accept, right? So uh, the 12 leads were not connected, right? So the, tw the this cable was not connected right here, right? So you see, this cable is not connected. So it's can, it cannot read. So if you see that alarm, right? Uh, it's very important that you come and you reconnect this if you haven't done so already. So I'm showing you, right? So this must be connected for you to acquire 12 leads. All right, so now remain still, right? And now, right? Uh, we're gonna click again 12 lead and it's at the bottom it says acquiring 12 lead 
So please, please don't move, right? Remain comfortable, uh, just breathe normally. And once it acquires the toilet, it will automatically print it for you. You don't have to press any additional buttons, right? So it will print it, print it out. You don't have to click print again for it to stop, right? It will just print it out normally. And then once it's finished printing, make sure you wait until it's fully finished printing. The way you're gonna essentially remove it, you're gonna grab it here and you're gonna pull down. Do not pull towards you or up because you may tear it at the center. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull down like that. And then this is the, the, this, this is the rhythm strip, right? And this is the 12 DKG, right? That you're gonna present to your paramedic, right? Your CC medic just to make sure you guys uh, remember how to perform this, right? For your regular strip, you just click print. I'm just gonna click a little piece. <clears throat> you're gonna uh, click print again, stopped. You're gonna click 12 lead, right? Because we already entered the demographics, everything is already in there one time. So now when it acquires the 12 lead, it's gonna print another one for you, right? So essentially, this is, we talked about the anatomical landmarks, right? Palpation, application of the limb leads and the precordial chest leads and essentially the buttons so essentially the buttons that you're going to need are all on the left hand side the print right for your three lead and then the 12 lead where you're placing the patient's age sex right and then you uh, acquire if you see it says uh, uh, uh you know noisy data it's probably either the patient has hit chest hair or the patient is moving so very important you tell the patient sir please don't move it's very important we get a good tracing right so now we got the 12 lead uh remember to right how i showed you uh down right and then you got your strips you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna present this to your paramedic right and say all right so we got the the baseline rhythm strip is here and we got the 12 lead here right and uh that's it right i usually leave the monitor connected at the bedside and uh this will help your cc medic right for these STEMI transfers or your cardiac transfers thank you